Yeah, from snowblowers to space heaters, News 8 has your back on how to stay safe and get rid of the white stuff during the storm. Today we sold out. We had, you know, guys building all day. We restocked. We built like 20, 30 snowblowers today. We've been selling an average of 10, 15, 20 snowblowers a day lately. At Butler Power Equipment in West Hartford, they're having the best year ever. Sparked by last year's blizzard, people are trying to get out ahead of this year's storm. This year has been crazy. And from plows to sanders to back blades, snow blowers. And at the service department, it's backed up as well. Ethanol in the gas is the biggest problem. Make sure you got fresh gasoline. Make sure you, you know, you're know adding a stabilizer. Fire your machine up every two weeks, even when it's not snowing. Don't let it sit. Another component to the storm, the cold. Tonight, firefighters are warning people about space heaters, especially the ones that burn kerosene. They heat well, but the flame puts out carbon monoxide, nicknamed the silent killer. The space heaters can give off a, a very massive amount of that, and if people put them in their sleeping areas, um, that's obviously the worst place to do it. There are some electrical space heater options that you can do, like this one right here. You can plug it in and all of a sudden it heats up, but you got to be careful because with the electrical ones, sometimes you have to use an extension cord and you put it in there, and sometimes people will put a rug over it or something to hide it, and this will heat up because it's pulling a lot of juice through it, and this can cause a fire. Christmas trees, curtains, beds, you know, bedspreads, mattresses, anything like that. You want to make sure you could walk a good circle of several feet around the space heater. And the fire department says now's the time to check your batteries on your smoke detectors and your carbon monoxide meters, and to have a safe and happy storm. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Hartford, News 8.